Hey guys, welcome to the channel where today I'll be showing you how to create an original and unique Amazon KDP coloring book interior fast using custom frames in Canva. But before we get started, hey guys, my name is Jeff and this channel is all about becoming self-sufficient when it comes to making money online. And right now we're talking about low and medium content publishing on Amazon KDP. So if this sounds interesting to you, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let's get started. So what I wanna show you today is how you can make something that is totally original and something that you can make fast and free. And what it is, is using custom Canva frames and interesting color patterns inside of them to create a unique coloring book to sell on Amazon KDP. So in order to show you this, we have to go on Canva and open a new document. So if we're on Canva right now, if we go ahead and click create a design, we can go to custom size. And we can choose any size for this tutorial, but the easiest way to do this is go ahead and create the standard size for whatever coloring book you wanna make. So in our case, we wanna make it an eight and a half by 11. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. So we wanna go ahead and change the units here to inches and choose 8.5 by 11 and then create the new design. Now that we're here, I wanna show you what I mean by custom frames. So if we go to elements and we type in frame, we can see that right here, there's a bunch of frames with this type of picture in the background with clouds and grass and sky. So these are custom frames because if I go ahead and choose one like this, and then I go ahead and look for a photo like this, what you can do is if I make this bigger for you guys, you can go ahead and drag it on top and it goes inside the frame. And then you can double click the picture and adjust the picture as you want. And that is what I mean custom frame. But what I wanna do today is show you how you can use this technique and create a coloring book that is fast and simple. So we're gonna go ahead and delete this and delete the frame. And we're gonna start out by using graphics. Now for this tutorial, you're gonna to wanna to use a graphic. So if you click up here on Canva, you're gonna to want to use a graphic that is an SVG. This tutorial is not gonna help you if you use a JPEG or a PNG. We need an SVG graphic. And the easiest way to do it is if you just type in, for example, animal and then SVG, it makes it easier to look for that type of graphic. So Canva doesn't actually tell you what kind of image it is, whether it's an SVG, a PNG, or a JPEG. So one way to find out if it's an SVG or not is if we go ahead and click on an image, so like this rabbit right here, if we click on the image and you look up here on this bar, you can see that it says edit image, but you can also see that there is this black box where you can change the color. And this is how you know it's an SVG. If it was not an SVG, it would look something like this, where if I go ahead and take that out and I look for maybe this turtle, if I click on the turtle, there's the edit image, but there is no box where you can change the color. And this tutorial is not gonna work on these type of photos. You need an image like this image, this rabbit, where it's an SVG file. And then we can go ahead and take this to another program where we can go ahead and turn it into a custom frame. So once you have this rabbit on your page, it doesn't really matter where it's at. You don't have to make it bigger or smaller. You can just keep it how it is. We're gonna want to download this as an SVG. So in order to do that, you go ahead and click share here and you can go ahead and download right here. And then for file type, you wanna go ahead and select SVG. Now keep in mind, as you can see, there is a crown. And so what it means is this is a pro feature of Canva. So in order to use this, you're gonna actually have to pay for the pro feature. So just keep that in mind. So if we go ahead and click SVG, you want to make sure that you check right here where it says transparent background. You wanna make sure that this is check marked right there, and then you wanna download it. We'll go ahead and save that. And now that that's saved, we want to go ahead and go to another program. And this one, you can go ahead and open your browser and you can go ahead and type in figma.com. So with this program, we can actually make the custom frame and we can do this free. So if we go ahead and click here, get started for free, we can go ahead and sign up using Google or you can use your email and password to create an account. But for me, I went ahead and signed in with Google. So feel free to do whatever you want. 
Now, once you're signed in, you're going to come up with this kind of screen. We don't really care for this, so we can go ahead and skip all these questions. You can answer them if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and just skip them. And then you get to the screen where it asks you which plan you would like. So right here, we just want the starter. We don't need the professional. Everything that we need to do, we can do with the starter plan. So go ahead and click starter and then continue. And then for here, what would you like to do first? Go ahead and click design with Figma and then finish. Now, when you get onto this screen, it's kind of like a tutorial and we're not going to bother with this right now. So you can go ahead and click next and next and skip it. Keep clicking next until it tells you that you're all set and then you can start a new file. Click that. It'll open up a new tab and this is where we want to be. We only want to focus on a few different things. Number one is this square box right here. Number two is this layers portion right here on the left hand side. And then the right hand side right here where we can change the style and we can export. What we want to do now is we want to go ahead and hover over here on this square rectangle and click the arrow down. Once you click the arrow down, you can see that there are a bunch of options here, but we only want to go right here where it says place image slash video. And so go ahead and click that. And this is where we can go ahead and choose the SVG that we just downloaded from Canva. So go ahead and choose it, open it. And then it'll ask you to go ahead and click somewhere on the screen to place it. You can click anywhere. I just click in the middle here. And then as you can see, there is our rabbit. Now, once we have this, we want to go to the left side here and we want to look at this layers section. Now, if you can see the triangles here, you can see that we can keep dropping down the folders until we opened all of the folders. And all we want to grab from here is this vector one right here with the lines. So as you can see, I can hide the rabbit if I want by closing the eye. And so we want to go ahead and click this vector so it's highlighted and then drag it to the top, as you can see by that line where it's on the top there. And then once it's there, we want to go ahead and delete the rest of this. So in order to do that, you can click on the folder here and then just press delete or backspace on your keyboard and it should be gone. So that'll allow us to just focus on this rabbit. Now, what we want to do is we want to go to the right side of the screen and we want to focus just on this section right here, this fill section. Now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and click this box, this black box right here. And once you click it, this palette shows up. And all we want to do is if you see these buttons right here, the third one is what's called image. If you just click image, it'll turn into a checkboard pattern. And this is exactly what we want. OK, so that's done. Now we can go ahead and X out of that. Now, what we want to do is we want to add an outline to the image. And so in order to do that, we want to go ahead and add a stroke here. So go ahead and click the plus sign. And we want to make sure that our border is black. So choose the black, which is all zeros. And then what we want to do is we want to choose here instead of inside, we want to choose center. And then right next to it, you'll see a bunch of lines with the number one. If you click inside here and you drag left to right, you can see that it adjusts it. It goes thicker to thinner. And so find something that you like. I'm just going to go ahead and choose 15. Now, once you're happy with that, you want to go down to export down here, press the plus sign. And right here where it says PNG, it's very important that you click it and change it to PDF. This tutorial is not going to work if you choose any other option other than PDF. You want to make sure that you choose PDF and then go ahead and export the vector. Now we're back in Canva. We can either drag it into the upload section or you can go ahead and click upload files, choose which one you like. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it here and it's going to upload it into this projects folder down here. Now, once it's done uploading, it'll be under the designs right here. Now, if we go ahead and click it, it'll show up on the page. Now, the next thing that we want to do is if we go and click on the image, we can go ahead and move the outline off of it and just set it aside because we're going to want that later. And then now we're stuck with this checkerboard pattern. So what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and click the image and you can either click backspace on the keyboard or delete, or you can go ahead and right click and select detach image. Once you do that, it's going to detach that checkerboard 
from this custom frame that we just made. And as you can see, if you put it back on top, it goes back into the frame. So go ahead and delete that checkerboard because we don't need it. And now that you have this frame, what we want to do is add some type of coloring pattern inside of it so that we can make a unique coloring page. And this is where I like to use something like Creative Fabrica because they have everything that you will possibly need to go and finish this project. So let's go ahead and go over to Creative Fabrica and try to find something. So here we are on Creative Fabrica and we can just do a simple search and it comes up with all of these patterns. We can choose a geometric pattern. We can choose anything. So for this example, I'm just going to pick a random one. So let's go ahead and go with this one right here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the image that you want has to be a JPEG file. The good thing about Creative Fabrica is a lot of their elements and their files include JPG or JPEG files. So as we can see with this geometric pattern right here, it does in fact include a JPG file. So this is perfect. We can go ahead and download this. Now that we have our file, all we do is take the JPG file and we can go ahead and upload it onto Canva by dragging it, by pressing the button. Go ahead and do that. And then now that it's uploaded, we can go ahead and click it and it shows up on the screen. Now, once it's here, all we want to do is we want to drag it on top of our rabbit custom frame. And as you can see, it fits right inside. And now what you can do is you can double click on the image and you can adjust the image however you like. So once you're happy with that, go ahead and click outside of the image again. And then now all we want to do is move our border that we created, our outline, and put it back on top of the rabbit to go ahead and finish this custom image. So as you can see, we have a totally original and totally unique coloring page that we just made in a few minutes. Now, a few things to keep in mind. You want to be using an SVG file that is a solid color. So things like this, as you can see, there's that box that we're looking for, the color box. Something like this is going to be harder to do because even if you change everything to black, when you put this onto Figma, it's a little bit more difficult to turn into a custom frame. So I usually stay away from these. Anything that is a solid color like this, a solid color like this and a solid color like this, we can turn this all into custom frames that look like this. And you can turn each image into a coloring page and put any type of pattern inside to make it a unique coloring page to sell on Amazon KDP. Now, if you want more SVG files like this and maybe Canva is not enough, you can go ahead and go back to create a Fabrica to find more SVG files. So for example, you can see this camping bundle. You can see this beach with the palm trees, the heart, and you can find a lot more. So if you want to go ahead and check out Create a Fabrica, I'll leave the link down below. Now, if you're interested in more videos about how to create coloring books to sell on Amazon KDP, feel free to check the other video I made by clicking somewhere around this video. It should pop up now. So be sure to check it out. Well, there you have it. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and hopefully you're able to implement it in your KDP low and medium content publishing. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and let me know what kind of video you want to see me do next. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.